Good morning. It's 10.30 and I've done nothing. Done nothing. I got up late. Um, had breakfast. You know, did everything on the computer that I usually do at the beginning of the day and it's 10.30. Yep. And it's 15 degrees out there. It's bloody cold. I mean, this winter stuff getting to me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't like this cold summer we're having. I really don't. This is, uh, wow, well, it's just not pleasant. I know, I know. This is too slow. Hello. <laughs> okay. why I do this this way every day because you know I'm out here hey this works so a few things I'm gonna go swimming despite the fact that I've done nothing I'm going to start now <laughs> once I upload this and then I'll go swimming and then I'll come back and I'll do some work how's that exciting news about my girlfriend, who I'm going to see tomorrow, I hope, after all this, she was on the news. And this is like national news. Her name was actually said by uh, one of our uh, famous politicians and, and, uh, Foreign politician. Well, he's still a politician. He, he ran for for uh, Canadian Prime Minister. Yeah. Anyway, they said her name. They said her name. She's uh, the person who uh, my friend Michelle, who I know you've heard before because she's my friend and we get together. Um, She's the, the uh, location scout. She was the location scout for Alison Redford, uh, Premier of Alberta. And uh, she went all over the world, you know, China, India, ahead of the, the Premier to scout, you know, where she could stay, what she should do, and what restaurants she should go to, and how much things were going to cost, and hotels she should stay in. Yeah, this was her job, and uh, her name got said on the national news yesterday. It's so exciting, because Alison Redford has spent a lot of taxpayers' money, and uh, pretty wasteful. But anyway, that was exciting, hearing her name on the national news and seeing it on the, in the Huffington Post, Alberta version. Uh, so... Famous. <sighs> anyway, see what else did I want to say? Um, dentist. Once a year, I go see my dentist, get my teeth clean. He checks them and says, "Yep, they're just as good as they were last year." And off we go. We have not been able to get a hold of the dentist. I mean, he usually gets us, calls us, in uh, in August because I one one time I put my foot down. I said. We're going to come see you and take off jackets and all this stuff. Why don't we do it in August when it's warm? So June, July, August, let's see the dentist in August, not in the winter. Okay. So that's been our appointment for years now. And we have called. We actually drove by yesterday and looked in the window. It doesn't say anything, but there's no answer. There's no answering machine when you call either. You can't leave a message. It just rings and rings and rings. So I don't know what's going on. But our dentist has disappeared. What were we doing driving around yesterday in our rental car? We were driving around looking at cars. 
driving through dealerships, looking at various fall cars. So, uh, yeah, my husband says he's fed up with uh, having used cars and having to deal with our mechanic and his, uh, <clears throat> we don't think that we've bought Buying a used car from him is not on the top of our list of things to do I mean, anymore. He's just not reliable enough. So we're going to uh, go with a new car. I'm so excited. I want one of those, well, I really want a Fiat, you know, one of those fancy Fiats. I don't know if that's going to be in, in the, we're going to look at those today. But yesterday we were looking at uh, all the local dealerships. So, you know, Toyota, Nissan, Mitsubishi, you know, all those that were within range. And uh, I like the Micra. Because <laughs> it's me. Yes. Anyway, um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So that's it. That's all. I'm going to go now and try and get some work done. I'm going to wake up my husband, have him give me a ride, because I need a ride to the pool, right? Because he's the one who rented the car. Yeah. So he has to give me a ride. Ha! Huh? He has to get up early. So I'm going to get some work done, and then I'm going to go swimming, and then I'm going to do more work. And then we're going to do more car hunting later. Tough and out.